Parker here. So I thought I'd talk about sort of a touchy subject, which is uh, drinking and drugs and racing. And we all pretty much know the consequences of being impaired and operating a vehicle. And it is even more dangerous on a racetrack. And the question is, well, do racers uh, drink and use drugs? Well, um, I'm, I'm not going to say completely no or completely yes. I will give you my own experiences when I was racing is that uh, I never ever saw anybody taking drugs before the races. Now, I can definitely tell you there was more than one uh, guy who got on the starting grid who was incredibly hungover from the uh, drinking from the night before. Uh, in fact, on one occasion, it was me. Uh, I wasn't drunk, but I was not feeling very good. And that was probably the last time I ever had a drink at the racetrack. But there were people who definitely off the track uh, were definitely uh, you know, drinking and uh, doing drugs as well. Now, when I'm talking drugs, I'm not talking the hard stuff because generally anybody who is using really hard narcotics is going to be doing it sort of in privacy. They're not going to try to do it in a public place. Um, what I came across more than anything else was people uh, smoking pot or weed or you know marijuana whatever you want to call it and uh, you know there was there were guys who were handing it or handing it around at the at, at the shop you know this was this was off hours when people were uh, usually getting their bikes ready on Thursday night or Friday night before they head to the track on the for the Saturday practice now I definitely never uh, Never took any drugs. Like uh, I managed to get drunk on all three different types of alcohol in my life, and besides waking up not very happy about it, my body was very unhappy. I eventually realized I didn't see the the point, in it, and I just actually just stopped drinking outright. And as far as the uh, the drug use, I just never really saw the point of doing it. Plus, you know, it was all. You know, it was illegal and uh, the black market stuff, and it was freaking expensive. Like, uh, they wanted like $10 for one marijuana cigarette. And I'm thinking like, back then a, a pack of cigarettes was two bucks. And I realized it was the underground black market or whatever, but it was, you know, when I was younger I tried smoking and Besides the fact I didn't like the didn't like the taste and the smell and all that sort of stuff, I actually enjoyed cigars, but cigars were freaking expensive, so I never actually got to doing that. Now in the racing thing, there was definitely a lot of guys who were who were using using stuff, but I'd never seen it on the track. Nowadays, I think it's probably even less, simply because. Uh, with a lot of the sporting bodies now, they have drug testing. And I do know uh, at least one guy who failed a drug test and got fired immediately. Uh, and then of course, if you're familiar with uh, Anthony Gobert, who was uh, an up and coming star from Australia, who basically blew his entire career by, uh, you know, drinking and, dr and drug use and whatnot. And uh, this was a guy who probably had the potential to become a world champion and uh, he basically you know ruined his career and his life so I can't honestly say that drug use is you know rampant in uh, racing simply because it in today because of all the money involved it just it's not worth it uh, in fact uh, one of the Moto2 racers just uh, you know, uh, a couple months ago, got charged with impaired driving, and uh, he was immediately fired from the team because they just don't want the hassle anymore. There's too many people who have a lot of talent who won't mess up that the teams will take a chance on. They just 
and won't do it with somebody who, uh, you know, who, who will. So, so anyways, that's my uh, little take on uh, drugs and whatnot. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Best doctor.